That's an L. But. Good morning. It is 7 o'clock and we are at the outlets to go Black Friday shopping. This is the one time of year I wake up early because I hate waking up early and frankly I don't like going shopping. But it's Black Friday so I like to see what all the deals are even if I don't buy anything. And it's a father-daughter tradition and it's literally freezing. I can see my breath, that's how cold it is. Store number one is Under Armour. Everything is 50% off and so I found some like jogger type pants. I'm gonna try those on. So we'll see if they fit. I did not love how those fit, so they will go right back on the shelf where I got them from. From Under Armour, we got ourselves three black zip up hoodies and two athletic shirts. One black, one gray. In total, it cost us $113 for all five items when it should have cost us $233. What's crazy is these look exactly like the Nike shorts I always wear, but obviously they're Adidas. But because Miami is an Adidas school, I'm tempted to get them because then I can wear them at like sports games and stuff. From Adidas, we got one pair of Adidas NMD R1s, all white with a little neon orange touch to them. In total, these cost us $77, when their normal price at the outlets is $140. People raided the sweatshirts, like they're all gone. The only sizes left are like double X or small, which neither fit me, so that's an L. But the women's section has not been rated. Yeah, we probably should have just stayed in line earlier. <laughs> From Nike, we got one pair of pink running shorts, two pairs of black running shorts, two golf hats, one white, one gray, a pair of black joggers, a pair of sweatpants with the classic Nike swoosh on the side, as well as a plain black pair of sweatpants. And for all of this, it cost us $146 when it should have cost us $259. So pretty good for Nike. We have made it to our second destination, which is an actual full-size mall. We'll see what kind of discounts they got here, but I doubt it'll be as good as the outlets considering it was sales on top of sales. And the first priority is lunch. I'd say so far my predictions were correct that the outlets deals were going to be significantly better than the malls deals, but that doesn't mean there aren't some good finds. For example, there's the Vapor Maxes in Dick's were on sale more than the Nike outlet. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. You don't have to buy everything you see. probably had the best sales I've seen in the mall. Almost all of their shoes were on sale, which typically you don't see. We are heading out and we cannot find our car because there are so many people here and zero parking spots available. We just took the first one that we saw and now we don't know where that was at. We found it. Our last and final stop and arguably our favorite stop 
is Best Buy. All right, so let me break it down for you. Everything here that we bought on Black Friday cost us $337, when it should have cost $632. So overall, we got everything roughly 50% off, and I'd say that's a pretty successful Black Friday. Thank you for watching day one of Vlogmas. There's 11 more to go, so subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.